oriented, who are high spenders, uh, who are you know, single apartment dwellers and so forth. And so it has really um, created just you know, a phenomenal kind of space. Here we're looking through to just that lattice work that's on Federation Square. And that's the other thing that has happened in Melbourne over the past 10 years. We've, we have built infrastructure. We've built an enormous amount of um, large scale infrastructure for the housing of art while the city and the state government in tandem in particular have maintained and, and helped uh, these other burgeoning places to, to keep going. So even if you know, certain artist run spaces evaporate, etc., they are regenerated constantly. There's now I think about sort of four generations of artist run spaces. And so Melbourne is a constantly re-enlivened, revigorated space. Here I'm just giving you a little quick chart through. Um, we started in 1972 because that was where the George Payton Gallery where I used to work was the single only contemporary art space. But as you can see, um, it started to proliferate and now we see contemporary art spaces, artists run initiatives, we have commercial galleries aplenty, we have the university gallery system which also adds much to that and on top of that we also have a bunch of initiatives such as the Melbourne International Festival, uh, the Fringe Festival, the Next Wave and all of those groups that kind of gather together, experiment and so forth. Until we now have um, really I think, uh, and this is just the inner urban kind of you know, plotting for you, uh, an astonishing mix of spaces. Any one of you, well some of you have been to Melbourne and I think you would probably agree that for, we bat way above our weight. Uh, in terms of spaces per, per capita, uh, we really have um, quite an exciting mix. And importantly, I think we have a layered mix. And I, I think that's one of the things that um, is perhaps good, good to assert in, in a situation of this sort. We have something like Gertrude Street, which started in 1983, which remains a very, very 